maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. This air was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil and these. I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. I guess he felt the same way. Was Charlotte's response all my fault? Or would she have turned on me no matter what? I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is, is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truth. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. I'm glad he held on to it, for whatever it's worth. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chan? Chong, and no, but I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Feels like I've been through so much with Eleanor. It meant the world that she believed me. must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. After what I went through, the middle of the ocean might not be so bad. I've been playing a lot the last two days, trying to think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time I get to not think. Not think about Jed, or Gabe, or Haven, and wanting to move on from the pain, but not knowing how. Most of all, what I don't think about is me, because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. The LARP was two days ago? That doesn't seem possible.
Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. I want to go outside without seeing anyone. That's why God created rooftops. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here too. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you? Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph.
life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course, you already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? (laughs) Pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I 
know what I want. Hello everyone, I'm Alex Chen.